The road to humanity was a long road. It began in Africa some seven million years ago when our lineage split from that of our closest living relatives the chimpanzees. Our ancestors still resembled apes nearly four million years later. This includes Lucy, a 3.2 million year old human ancestor discovered in Ethiopia, from a group called the Australopithecus. In some ways Lucy was very ape-like, she had a chimp-sized brain and long arms that suggest she spent a lot of time in trees, but she also walked on two legs like modern humans. Hominins living at this time probably made simple stone tools, but our ancestors didn't really begin to look and behave like us until about 1.9 million years ago, with the appearance of the genus Homo. Homo erectus fossils have been found in Europe and Asia, marking it out as the first hominin to make its way out of Africa. They produced far more sophisticated tools than its predecessors, and was probably also the first hominin to control fire. Some researchers believe they invented cooking, providing them with more energy to allow bigger brains to evolve. Indeed, the anatomy of Homo erectus suggests it was capable of speech. Populations of Homo erectus living in Eurasia are thought to have given rise to Homo heidelbergensis, and they were considered to be our direct ancestor, but new evidence is completely rewriting this part of the human story. Until recently, the Out of Africa paradigm had Homo sapiens evolving in East Africa merely 100,000 years ago, becoming capable of modern behaviors around 60,000 years ago, and then swept out of Africa, wiping out all archaic humans in our path. But new analyses of fossils, tools and DNA tell a far different story. It looks like our species is far older, at least 300,000 years old, and was behaviorally sophisticated from the start. Studies of skull shapes, show that our brains have changed very little almost 200,000 years. Everything, from the identity of our last ancestor, when our species left Africa, and what happened next, is up for revision. These are interesting times to be exploring the human story, there is no doubt there will be more plot twists. But new fossils, tools and analyses of ancient and modern genomes are tearing apart that neat tale. With the dust yet fully to settle, the question now is how many, if any, of our old assumptions still hold. Nonetheless, scientific evidence suggests our species shared a common ancestor with Neanderthals. Current evidence from both fossils and DNA suggests that Neanderthal and modern human lineages separated at least 500,000 years ago, while some genetic calibrations place their divergence at about 650,000 years ago. In fact, Neanderthals and humans branched off possibly because of genetic incompatibility in the context of the Y chromosome, probably due to an Ice Age-related population bottleneck. An important question is who was the last common ancestor? Could this ancestor actually be considered an archaic Homo sapiens, with Neanderthals being the group that split off, or was this ancestor some completely different species? Ancient DNA research has revealed some surprising aspects to our evolutionary history during the past 50,000 years. Perhaps the most startling of these has been the extent to which the ancestors of living people across the planet, interbred with other closely related species of human. One particularly interesting example compared the genome of a female Neanderthal with 1,000 contemporary humans from across the world, and found clear evidence for negative selection. Mapping the DNA of Neanderthals against this large number of human genomes also showed that there were vast deserts of Neanderthal ancestry. One million base pairs, showed four windows in Europeans and 14 in East Asians, where only around 0.1% of the DNA was Neanderthal. The human Y chromosome is also known to be lacking Neanderthal DNA, suggesting strong natural selection against hybrid males, who were likely to have been infertile. Researchers have estimated that 1 to 6% of modern Eurasian genes came from now extinct hominins, including the Denisovans and Neanderthals. It seems we were genetically incompatible with our ancient relatives, and male fetuses conceived with Neanderthal males would have miscarried. We knew that some crossbreeding between us and Neanderthals happened more recently, around 100,000 to 60,000 years ago. Neanderthal genes have been found in our genomes, on X chromosomes, and have been linked to traits such as skin color, fertility and even depression and addiction. 
Now, an analysis of a Y chromosome from a 49,000-year-old male Neanderthal found in Spain suggests the chromosome has gone extinct seemingly without leaving any trace in modern humans. This could simply be because it drifted out of the human gene pool or, as the new study suggests, it could be because genetic differences meant that hybrid offspring who had this chromosome were infertile, a genetic dead end. Scientists compared the Neanderthal Y chromosome with that of chimps, and ancient and modern humans. They found mutations in four genes that could have prevented the passage of Y chromosome down the paternal line to the hybrid children. Some of these mutations could have played a role in the loss of Neanderthal Y chromosomes in human populations. The researchers also used the new DNA sequences to estimate the time when the most recent common ancestor of Neanderthal and modern human Y chromosomes existed. They came up with a figure of around 590,000 years ago, which agrees with other estimates for the split of the two groups. Early humans probably migrated out of Africa through what is now Egypt and Israel and spread throughout Europe and Asia. There, these early humans diverged into different subspecies of humans including the Neanderthals in Europe. For many hundreds of thousands of years, Neanderthals were the most advanced human species in Europe, until a new wave of anatomically and behaviorally modern humans spread out from Africa and migrated to Europe and Asia. This now widely accepted out of Africa 2 hypothesis is based on the appearance of anatomically and behaviorally modern humans in Eastern Africa as recently as 50,000 years ago. All of a sudden these early modern humans developed a new repertoire of hunting skills, novel forms of social interaction and a sense of art. They became creative innovators, expanding their mental and technical capabilities. These new achievements drove the early modern humans out of Africa to spread over Europe and Asia. Within a short period, of only about 15,000 years they supplanted the Neanderthals in Europe and other archaic humans in other parts of the world. For millions of years human behavior and anatomy evolved hand in hand. But about 50,000 years ago human creativity and innovation exploded, while anatomical evolution stalled. The sudden appearance of novel tools, weapons and skillfully chiseled art objects indicate a radical change in human behavior. But what sparked this cultural leap remains one of the hottest debates in the modern anthropological sciences. The cause for the drastic change in behavior in the early modern humans is unknown, but the most plausible explanation for the success of modern humans is a sudden biological change. As human brains reach today size hundreds of thousands of years earlier, and skull size didn't change drastically, this mutation would have affected cognitive power rather than overall brain structure. The origin of human speech is another of evolution's mysteries. Improved communication at this time would have enabled people to conceive and model complex natural and social circumstances, and thus give them the fully modern ability to invent and manipulate culture. This transformation, with the genetic change leading to the behavioral change, allowed human populations to colonize new and challenging environments, according to this theory. On reaching Europe, the rewired modern humans, called the Cro-Magnons, presumably outsmarted the resident Neanderthals, driving them to extinction by 40,000 years ago, and leaving their indelible cultural mark on the land. For some, the neural mutation hypothesis is the most economical explanation of why anatomy and human behavior drifted apart. Fossilized skulls reveal little about the brain underneath, but a gene mutation may have changed critical neural processes such as speech and language. The abrupt emergence of human culture over a stunningly short period continues to be one of the great enigmas of human evolution. Europe is a little peninsula that happens to have a large amount of spectacular archaeology, so some researchers suspected that this theory was a relic of a time when their discipline was ruled by Eurocentrism. But was there in fact some fundamental shift in brain wiring or some change in conditions of life? I wanted to tell you about Brilliant, the sponsor of this video. Learn interactively with Brilliant's fun hands-on lessons in math, science, and computer science. Interactive learning helps you learn six times more effectively than watching lecture videos. Instead of just memorizing, they teach you how to think about STEM, by guiding you through fun problems. You'll get practice with real problem solving, 
That helps you train your critical thinking and creative problem-solving skills. With Brilliant, anyone can understand concepts in STEM. In school, people are often trained to apply formulas to rote problems. But this traditional approach prevents deeper understanding of concepts, reduces independent critical thinking, and cultivates few useful skills. The capacity to think critically separates the great from the good. Brilliant is a fun and interactive way to learn real problem solving and deeply understand STEM. Join the millions of people already learning on Brilliant with a special offer just for listeners. Head to brilliant.org forward slash highly compelling to get started for free with Brilliant's interactive lessons. The first 200 listeners will also get 20% off an annual membership. Click the link in the description. Thanks for watching. Please check out these other videos or join us in the comments section. If you're not yet subscribed, please click that big red button now, so you don't miss any of our highly compelling videos. Thank you.